Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about the depreciation schedule report in Cybiz Vision Fixed Assets. Now there's a, a few things just to know in terms of running the depreciation schedule, in terms of what the options mean, and I'm just going to uh, explain those through some examples. So the include inactive fixed assets, that's fairly self-explanatory, so if an asset is flagged as inactive, you've got the option to include or exclude. The include zero depreciation and net value, you may have assets that are still owned, still on your books, but they're fully depreciated and therefore they don't carry any book value at this point in time, so you again have the option to include or exclude those. So I'm just going to run my depreciation schedule for the last month, I've depreciated up to the 31st of October in my company books and so I can go through the last page and see the depreciation amount for my last depreciation run but the real power of the the depreciation schedule report in Cybiz Vision is its ability to forecast data as well so I'm just going to flag that to the current year so all the way up to the 30th of June 2018 for the Australian end of financial year now because I haven't done my depreciation runs I've got this option now to include estimated data so what that will do when I run the report is it's going to basically combine my actuals for the depreciation runs I've done up to and it will then append the forecasted depreciation for the balance of the financial year in to the report so it'll give me a good financial forecast and it's also very very handy when it comes to doing my financial budgets for future years. So that's the very powerful depreciation schedule report in Cybiz Vision. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Cybiz.